Jerry's book tree. The corner. Frog and Toad were caught in the rain. They ran to Frog's house. I am all wet, said Toad. The day is spoiled. Have some tea and cake, said Frog. The rain will stop if you stand near the stove. Your clothes will soon be dry. I will tell you a story while we are waiting, said Frog. Oh good, said Toad. When I was small, not much bigger than a pollywog, said Frog. My father said to me, Son, this is a cold gray day, but spring is just around the corner. I wanted spring to come. I went out to find that corner. I walked down a path in the woods until I came to a corner. I went around the corner to see if spring was on the other side. And was it? asked Toad. No, said Frog. There was only a pine tree, three pebbles, and some dry grass. I walked in the meadow, soon I came to another corner. I went around the corner to see if spring was there. Did you find it? asked Toad. No, said Frog. There was only an old worm asleep on a tree stump. I walked along the river until I came to another corner. I went around the corner to look for spring. Was it there? asked Toad. No, said Frog. There was only some wet mud and a lizard who was chasing his tail. You must have been tired, said Toad. I was tired, said Frog, and it started to rain. I went back home when I got there, said Frog. I found another corner. It was the corner of my house. Did you go around it? asked Toad. I went around that corner too, said Frog. What do you see? asked Toad. I saw the sun coming out, said Frog. I saw the birds sitting and singing in the tree. I saw my mother and father working in their garden. I saw flowers in the garden. You found it, cried Toad. Yes, said Frog. I was very happy. I have found the corner that spring was just around. Look, Frog, said Toad. You're right. The rain has stopped. Frog and Toad hurried outside. They ran around the corner of Frog's house to make sure that spring had come again.